During World War II, a young German boy and his family relocate to Poland because his father's been given a promotion inside the SS. And the boy in the striped pajamas, young Bruno, moves to Poland and has no friends. There's no kids his age, so he explores the house, explores the ground, goes through the woods to that weird farm far away, and he finds a little boy named Schmuel who has no hair, and he's wearing these odd striped pajamas, and they have to talk through an electrified barbed wire fence because Schmuel is in the concentration camp that Bruno's father is now in charge of. This movie is really through Bruno's eyes. When he's in Berlin, he's a happy kid. He has a ton of friends. Then his life is turned upside down when they're forced to move to Poland. And there, it's his boredom. We just get to see this kid wanting to have something to do. He's got no friends, so he goes on a search because he sees that weird farm through the trees. And when he meets Schmuel, it's with childhood innocence. He doesn't understand what's going on. Not even Schmuel fully comprehends the situation, this horrifying situation. We just see two kids becoming friends with all those ups and all those downs, just in the face of one of the greatest horrors in human history. And Bruno's family is not immune to these changes too. We see the sister go really into the party line and the mother becomes to the realization of what really is going on, why their family has moved. And we see a father who is a commandant who is, takes over a concentration camp, love his family, cares for them deeply. And when everything comes to a head, it's just impressive. For me, this was a completely new way to look at the Holocaust through the eyes of a German child. And what was great is it was the power of friendship, of innocence, because when Bruno and Schmuel really make their connection, Bruno no longer is listening to the tutor because the tutor that he has is trying to teach them the Nazi line and it's not working because the truth of friendship is overpowering well-structured ignorance. On the other side, we have the actors playing the Nazi officers, even the family, that really do buy into the party line, that the Jews were subhuman and not really worth their time. And obviously, you see where the evil comes in here. They try to get to show you it's through this ignorance that this horrifying event happened and this movie brings all of that together right into your heart. The Boy in the Striped Pajamas is a powerful, wonderful film that you cannot miss and when you watch it, no matter how you feel afterward, you're going to be glad that you gave it a shot.